Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 3751 in Candy Crush Saga. If you find these videos helpful, I would ask that you consider liking and subscribing, because that in turn would help me out. So here we've got a hard level. We can tell by the skull and the purple, where we have 22 moves to clear out 94 jelly. And it's really tough because the jelly is trapped under really thick frosting and dark chocolate that can be up to three layers thick but then i think the biggest problem is that we've got these candy cane fences here they really create barriers both in being able to get things you know how sometimes it's hard to get to the corners well these kind of make little false corners here we have to reach in between places to get to things but then also it's harder for us to make matches and specials when we have curtailed movement on the board. So if I can make any specials, especially wrapped candies, I'm going to try to do that. And I'm going to try to focus my attention in the center here and blow up as much as I can. As a matter of fact, sometimes I'll have the opportunity to either make a special or deploy a special. And quite often, I will choose just deploying the special and hoping that things get created on their own. There are exceptions though. If it's a wrapped candy, I'll probably go with the wrapped candy because it is so beautifully explosive. Uh, but a prime example would be if I could make like a stripe way up here or something like that, I probably wouldn't go for that. Now, I look for patterns on the board. I might be able to get an orange in here, but remember we have a limited number of moves so probably it's not going to work out great for me to match this up and get a special out of it. Instead, what I'm going to do, strike against that chocolate that will grow if I don't take it out. It seems like I don't have a lot of blue on the board, and I have an opportunity not only to take out some of the remaining blue, but to take out chocolate and frosting. That looks like a good opportunity to me because the fewer colors I have on the board, the higher the concentration levels, and therefore I'm more likely to be able to make those specials. So here's a special, but it doesn't take out any jelly. It does take out a frosting though. It is far removed, but it's pointed fairly well. Is that the move I want to take? Is that the best move on the board, or is there something better? Unfortunately, it looks like it might be the best move on the board. I don't see a way to easily get a purple over here. This takes out jelly, but it doesn't take out any frosting. And I do like taking out the bigger barriers first so that we can more easily get to that uh, the jelly underneath. This is interesting, but there's no way because of this that I can put another purple in there. I do have an opportunity to make a wrapped candy. We already know how much I enjoy those. Love to get a combo can't, but I'm going to blow things up because now that I've got this board a little bit more open and I'm going to be opening it further, I'm expecting some specials just to create themselves, like this wrapped candy that exploded a little too early, but still, that's the kind of thing I'm interested in, in trying to get on this board as a helper. Can I get another orange here? Not easily, but I am going to make some cascading over on this side and hope that something happens. And if it doesn't and this goes away, again, it's just a stripe. It's not all that powerful. I prefer this move here, and look what happened. We did get our color bomb. So I'll go ahead and take it, and I get another color bomb. I've got 11 moves left. If I had three moves left, I probably wouldn't be making another color bomb. But I've got 11 moves, so I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to see what's the best color to remove. I've got blue, one blue down here, one, two, three, four, five, six green down here, variously helpful, one, two, three, four, five, six orange, about the same as the green. The purple isn't very helpful. I think actually what I'm going to do is make this stripe. I know I might lose something here, but that's okay because I really you know, I have these two candies. Uh, so even if I lose one, it's going to take out the most prevalent color. And that's what I'm going for. And now I'm going to do this. I'm going to take out all orange from the board and hope that I get something paired up with this. I did. And it's purple. 
which seems like it should be good. I didn't just recently take out purple. There isn't as much down here as I would like, but there's some. And I think that's going to have a great deal of value. I think probably better than even a color bomb, color bomb combo, a color bomb wrapped combo on this board is most helpful because it has that double hit. So now things have been going fairly well for me. I have to decide my very best move. I do like making this wrapped candy here. I'd be taking out a jelly and I'd be situating this right in the corner. We've got seven moves left. I'm going to go ahead and take that. Now I've got to get over here. I could do this. It would make a wrapped candy, but it's not really in a helpful spot. I still have chocolate on the board and that's growing at me and so it's making life a bit difficult. <sighs> See, if there weren't these barriers here I could make a stripe, but that's not going to work. I can't reach down here right away, but I can maybe set up the blue for future. Ooh, somehow I got rid of the chocolate. I will take it. I can do this. It's bringing orange down, and I don't have orange to put with it. I haven't been able to blow this up. I could do this and take out layers here, but I was hoping to get maybe some sort of combo over here. It's just not working well with all these dividers. So is there anything on a different part of the board that I'm missing? This is an okay move. This is an okay move. Is there a better move somewhere that I'm just not seeing yet? Actually, I know it's a bit crazy, but I think I'm going to go for more of a cascading opportunity and see if that knocks things into position. It didn't really, did it? So this is the kind of trouble we are likely to have on this board. Even if we get fairly well through the major portion of it, we're going to have some stragglers. That's what happens on this board. So when we do get a bit of luck, we're going to have to really try to capitalize on that luck by looking at each and every opportunity, which I probably didn't do very carefully this first time out. So what I'm going to do is pause the recording, come back with a new board, but with no microphone until there's something important to say. And remember, you may see me forego making specials up here in order to use specials because that's the strategy I think is going to work best. I think that if I deploy this, the specials with only four colors on the board as things drop down, they'll create their own specials for me. So I'll see you in just a bit. Okay, so this looks pretty good. Here is my main target, and I've got a wrapped candy right here and six moves. I believe that just hitting it this way would take it out because I'll be striking it with a vertical stripe and with a horizontal stripe. If I were in doubt, I would take out this blue first, but yeah, this should get it done. So I'm not going to worry too much. There we go, that's how I beat it. But you notice that in order to do it, we had a couple of color bomb wrapped candy combos. That's really the best way to try to go about it. So don't forget to look around on the board. I tend to get myopically focused just on one particular area. And to my detriment, it often means that I take a lot longer on a level than I need to. Uh, this one took me 23 tries and I'm happy to get it done because 
I was getting frustrated with it. And partly because it is a fast-moving board, you can take quick action because there are a lot of different opportunities, but really hunt out those best opportunities if you can manage it. And if you have any questions or comments, certainly put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.